Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new on my channel then welcome. Today's video is as promised a chatty get ready with me video. I <laughs> I have to tell you up front I thought this was going to be a very very chatty video and in truth it really wasn't all that chatty. I am telling you what has been happening in my life recently and all that it, it's still in the video it's just really kind of short and I don't know it turned out that I didn't have that much to tell you. It's like a semi tutorial and semi me chatting of random things. Anyway, if you still want to see how I got this quite colourful uh, look that you can see on my face and, and also hear about some things, then keep on watching. Okay, I'm going to jump straight into this because I mean, let's let's get real. This video is going to be three years long. As always, I'm going to start with my eyes. As you can see, I haven't moisturized my face. I have also primed. Naturally, I don't look this glowy. And also, my eyelids are not that even colored. <laughs> All of the products, as always, will be listed in the description box. So just go and check that if you are interested in any of the product details. I am going to try something completely mental for this video. I don't actually even know how this is going to turn out. I have a blurry vision in my head but I really don't know how it's going to work. I'm first going to take the this shade. I believe it's called Silk Cream but I don't have any of the names here with me because I am stupid. So to start off with the news, um, the first thing I feel that I should tell you about is the reason why I haven't been uploading or um, the reason why I haven't been as active as I would like to be um, is because I recently started a summer internship. The internship is a UI UX designer and if that doesn't say anything to you then it means user interface slash user experience designer. Basically a lot to do with uh, designing websites and apps and all that kind of thing. I haven't actually studied um, anything like IT related but it's a very interesting area and I have studied marketing and I did work in that area before so I don't know somehow or for some reason um, the UI UX design what am I looking for? I love this brush. Anyway, the UI UX thing seemed really interesting, so I decided to give it a shot. I am going in with the shade next. So yeah, I'm not uploading as much as I would like to anymore because most of my time is taken up by the internship. And I mean, I'm not complaining, it's really interesting. I just, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know why things are the way they are. But I am trying to devote as much time as I can for YouTube as well. I'm just maybe a bit more slow. <laughs> Not that I was all that active in uploading before, I mean I really wasn't. At least I was a bit more consistent. Lately I feel like I'm just constantly late with my material and I don't know. So that is the main reason. Okay, I'm gonna start packing on the same green or turquoise shade now. Basically, do you guys remember when I mentioned in my previous video that I was going to meet a very special person? Well, um, that very special person is my boyfriend. I haven't really talked about my personal life on my channel all that much before um, and I am very much like a private person. I don't like to you know, like discuss too many issues that are like close to my family or close to my loved ones. I don't like to discuss that out in the open and for everyone to see and everyone to hear um, on the internet because I just, I don't think that's necessary. I don't think that very personal information should be available to everyone. I mean, I'm sorry, I know that it's really interesting. It, it makes it feel like you uh, know someone a lot better if you're just watching their videos and you don't actually ever talk to them in real life, but you watch their videos all the time and you feel like you actually know the person because you know so much about them and their everyday life and uh, I don't know what they do, who they are married to or who they are dating. As I have mentioned on my channel before, I am not good on social media. <laughs> Part of that is that I just don't want to share all that much information. Uh, I don't know. I hope you guys understand. I hope 
it makes sense. Okay, I should probably do my makeup as well. I, I'm just talking way too much. But I feel that I have to mention it to you because it is a huge change. I was single for a very long time. I'm, okay, not a very long time, but I was single for quite a while. And that is also the reason why I was able to focus more on YouTube and on my channel and all that kind of stuff. But now I am kind of juggling um, my boyfriend and my new job, or well, internship. So I just don't have as much free time anymore. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope that it's understandable. By the way, I just want to quickly mention that I really like the shade. I think it is really gorgeous. Okay, now I want to try something that might completely ruin the look, but I want to try it anyway. Um, I'm going to apply some glitter. I'm going to take some concealer and draw out a rough shape. I'm sorry I'm not talking, but this is really, really, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Stressful. Okay, let me get this part done and then I'll carry on talking. I am quickly going to clean up the fallout underneath my eyes, apply some mascara and some falsies, and then I will jump back here. So uh, this is how the eyes are looking at the moment with the lashes and all that on. I really do like it. I think it's maybe a bit like in your face. It's definitely not for the faint of heart, but I don't think that it's like too much. I'm glad that my vision came to life in a somewhat wearable way. <laughs> I'm gonna start applying my foundation. Um, I will be using my favorite foundation in the whole world and you all know what it is. It's the Catrice HD liquid coverage, of course. What I actually wanted to say was, talking about eye makeup and all that, I really, and I know this is quite random, but I really miss wearing eyeliner. <laughs> I miss it so much, but I seriously, I can't wear it. Like even wearing falsies is kind of pushing my eyes to the limit because I already know that tomorrow my eyes will be a bit red, a bit swollen, and I'll have to, I don't know, just kind of relax and take it easy a bit for a few days. And then, and then they will be like kind of back to normal. But uh, eyeliner will absolutely kill my eyes. It just adds so much to the look, you know, so I really, really miss it. But what can you do? By the way, I think it was like in my last sort of chatty get ready with me video or something in the lines of that, I was talking about all these books that I was planning on reading and I have actually finished all of them and I did enjoy all of them, especially the Ian Curtis book. That was probably one of my favorite ones. And the other one that was like, that was also a huge favorite um, was The Six of Crows. So Lisa, thank you so much for the recommendation if you are still watching my videos. <laughs> oh God, I hope you are. So if you are watching this video, <laughs> um, then thank you truly so much for the recommendation because I loved it. I loved it so much. It was really, oh, I don't know, it was, it was really well thought through, I felt, and it reminded me a bit of the Game of Thrones, like in the sense that it had its own world and all the details were like very well thought through. And it was just, I don't know, it's just such an enjoyable read and all the characters and all that, it was, I really liked it. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely a winner in my books. Uh, again, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> oh, wow. I actually even like uh, the Six of Crows so much that I bought the sequel and I am reading that now because of my schedule. Again, reading books has kind of, you know, 
don't have that much time for them anymore. Um, but I do still enjoy reading. Um, I'm just kind of, I, I just slowed down a bit. I'm quickly gonna do my brows off camera as well. You know how I feel about brows. Uh, they are, they take, they, they take forever and they are annoying. So let me just get that out of the way. And then again, I shall be back. Uh, let's move on to the lower lash line, shall we? Again, keeping it very basic. I'm using the same green and the same beige shade and I'm just buffing that in my lower lash line. That's pretty much it. Okay, I think it needs some black. Very close to the lash line though. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm not all that chatty at all. I thought that I would be, but I'm like, now I feel like I have already told you guys everything. Okay, I'm taking a bit of this shade, which is really gold. Might be a bad idea, but we'll, well, we'll see. By the way, you can let me know if you want to, if you want me to keep doing more tutorials. I I know that you guys like them, but I just, at times I feel like I maybe, you know, if I do too many tutorials in a row, then it's kind of too boring and too one-sided. So I try and incorporate other kinds of videos as well. But you guys really seem to like tutorials. So I just wanted to check. If that's if that's still true, if you guys want me to keep doing more tutorials, or like what's 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 the situation? Oh my god, I'm blind! I'm blind! I'm blind! Oh, I got mascara straight in my eye. Okay, I think I think the eyes are done now. I actually wanted to show you guys um, these new things. Ta-da! These are the newest things to my collection and uh, I know that again these aren't very new releases. Everyone is already mental about Soft Glam and the Pat McGrath palette. I think, I believe it's limited edition but I'm not too sure. This has been out as well for some time but I recently got them and I I'm really, really grateful because my dear friend went to the States recently and got me those palettes. And I am so, so excited to play around with them. So Alex, if you're watching this, thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart for getting me these palettes and for sending them to me. Uh, I am super, super, super excited about them. If you guys want me to do like a I don't know, to buy or not to buy video, just kind of testing them out, or if you want me to do tutorials, if you want me to do like a, I don't know, try them out first and do like a full-on review, what do you want me to do with them? Let me know because I am sure that I will be doing some type of video about these palettes, but just let me know what you would be most interested in seeing. I'm going to highlight the face now. I am mixing together the shades Santorini and Azores. No, what am I doing? These two. Uh, pretty much that's what I always mix together. Uh, I really really like the goldeny combo it gives. It's not too golden because, I mean, the shade Azores on its own would be straight up gold, but I I like to tone it down a bit with the Santorini shade. I'm going in with the <laughs> usual bronzer. By the way, I'm really glad. Um, those of you who answered my question in the previous video, um, I was asking about this bronzer because I use it all the time. And I was really, really happy to read that you are not sick of seeing this bronzer. And it really did make make me so happy because I, I, I just love this bronzer to death. I can't stop using it because it's the best there is. At least, I mean, from the bronzer that I've tried, nothing beats it. So if you haven't tried the butter bronzer from the Physician's Formula, then... You really should. Oh my god, I nearly forgot another piece. It's not really news, but it's just something that has happened recently. Um, quite recently. I started and already finished watching the show Peaky Blinders. It's set in Birmingham in the early 20th century, or in the 20th century. The way that they've done the show and again the characters and the plot line and all that and I don't I don't know it just you kind of get sucked into the show and if you like Killian Murphy then you will love this one. Oh, this was the Givenchy healthy glow powder by the way did I say that I don't think I did okay what well, just it's it's just lipstick left I am so ashamed to say this but I actually forgot about this lipstick I forgot that I own it uh, so I haven't used it in a while, 
but it's the Ofer liquid lipstick in the shade Sao Paulo and it is my favorite lip I can't say it liquid lipstick to this day and for some reason I just haven't really used it I've mainly been all about lip gloss so yeah I guess that explains this was the chat to get ready with me I'm sorry that there wasn't actually that much to chat about. I, in my head, I had all these things. I, at least it seemed to me like I had so many things to tell you. And then I sat here and I started talking and I realized that all of the things that I wanted to talk to you about, they weren't actually that long at all. I at least hope that you like the look that turned out. I don't know, I wanted to do something a bit more colorful and maybe something out of my comfort zone. I haven't done these crease glitter things ever really. So it's kind of a new thing for me and uh, I just wanted to try it out. So yeah, that's it for today. I'm going to keep it nice and short. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already. And also stay tuned because I have a few very, very cool videos coming up. At least they should be a lot of, a lot of fun. <laughs> That's it from me for today and I shall see you in my next video. Bye!